My dad used to make me go and fight, but I'd lose. But my mum just looked at me and went, now go and get them. So where she said it quietly, I'll never forget, I've done all three of them because I had passion to do it with. It's just something she said made me stick up for myself. So from then on, I think I started to fight a lot, but he pulled a knife out on me, yeah? But it ain't no ego, I just didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel scared, I was just more angry, like that he made the move first. And I thought, I went, no, no problem. I sat there, we looked at each other, I thought, no problem at all. I went, calm down, yeah? Oh, all right. He sat down, he, and I watched him not lick his lips. He felt good about, you know, confronted me a little bit. And I went out of the kitchen and uh, got a knife, come back in the shirt, and then I went, listen, I'm going now, shake hands. And then I, I stabbed him. How did I not have the power to say no to all these people years ago? Why have I got to go and help them all? When have they ever give a fuck? Some have, when I've been in prison. When have anyone else give a fuck when I'm in prison? Me to sit on here in an interview today, and there's a lot of people who know me out there, me to come here and see you today is a breath of fucking fresh air for me. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Because I've got a great team behind me now, probation team. Got some good people still in my life. And I, I, I'm entitled to some happiness at least, surely. Whether I've done some, I've done a lot of bad things to people and I'm very sorry. I drove round to see if he was dead or not in a car and then I went to prison on the sixth year for the stabbing sort of keep you out of all the violence yeah. but then I was stabbing the uh, sex offenders bashing them putting bread on the cameras in prison I used to get bread on a stick put him up and the prison officers go he's one bad one yeah like a child done a child in a um, uh, uh, stable advertised for a stable or saying girl she got down and he raped her I couldn't live with it but it always all the prison used to come to me yet again Getting this news. was a, a common occurrence that I thought why don't someone else do this for a change yeah because I was ruthless I'm not just hurting a prisoner I've got a prisoner crawling on his chest nearly getting it like with a balaclava on got my own squat team in there I couldn't even put all my violence into a short story because it's too much like the ag I've had over the years pain because we spoke earlier and the man who you killed says what was his last words yeah, uh, that's powerful. Um, well, I didn't finish with me that one, but I'll answer it because I'm a man. Yeah, good call. Yeah, because I'm not going to be a coward. Um, I, I looked into some unused evidence. He said, tell my wife and kids I love them because he was dying to me. That's mm -hmm. the first time I thought, like, fucking hell, you know?